Vape, vape, vaping with the homies. 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 Welcome everybody. Welcome to the show. Let me introduce you to some dudes in case you don't know. First we got Aziz all the way from Kuwait. Always got a point when it's time for debate. Oh my Lanta, some call him Dan. Got the dad jokes in the palm of his hand. Boom sauce McNasty got his eyes on the news. Got his ear to the streets and he's down for the crew. Next up is Clown the DIY King. Got a juice line and some coils that sing. Then there's a bear who's smarter than average. Quick with the wit, his name Vapor Swaggins. Then there's the homie, we know him as Frames. And too many guests to remember the names. Together they make up this killer vape panel. So hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Vape, vape, vaping with the homies. 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 What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Vaping with the Homies. What's in the news, Pumsaf? Alright guys, it's that time for Dan's Dad Joke of the Week. Vaping with the homies. Vape, vape, 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 vaping with the homies. Welcome everybody. Welcome to the show. Let me introduce you to some dudes in case you don't know. First we got Aziz all the way from Kuwait. Always got a point when it's time for debate. Oh my Lanta, some call him Dan. Got the dad jokes in the palm of his hand. Boom sauce McNasty got his eyes on the news. Got his ear to the streets and he's down for the crew. Next up is Clown the DIY King. Got a juice line and some coils that sing. Then there's a bear who's smarter than average. Quick with the wit, his name Vapor Swaggins. Then there's the homie, we know him as Frames. And too many guests to remember the name. Together they make up this killer vape panel. So hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Vape, vape, vaping with the homies. 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 Welcome back to another episode of Vaping with the What is going on, everybody? Sorry about that, uh, but we were waiting on uh, Mr. Uh, Poon Oh, don't McCower you throw Waffle. the fucking blame on me already. Uh, but Who we're else here, would guys. we throw it on, Corey? But otherwise, who had here, to guys. reboot their computer right as we were starting? Yeah. Well, yep. technical difficulties happened.
Yeah, that's a that's a dunkle clacks, not dangle clacks. That's a dunkle clacks. <laughs> Sean right said there. he had to get water. Yep, yep, he forgot the water. But anyways, we're back, guys, here for episode 31 of Vaping with the Omies. And as you can see, we are joined by some very, very special guests. We've got Mr. AJ Holland, hashtag Mr. Morecores, and we have Irby Irby herself joining us tonight. So, of course, we're going to do what we normally do. We're going to talk about maybe what we're vaping on tonight and all that stuff. So I'm actually going to throw it to our guests guests first and see what you guys are vaping on so uh whoever wants to start go for it it's like the same thing nothing has changed since last week um i got the Aegis legend it's dope i got it at 140 watts damn um, ripping with the qp fatality with the four core high millions yeah four core high boom got it and I got the sugar cookie by Glass Vapor. I'm Very hooked nice. until my frothy science comes in by the cloud chemist. So, digging it. Very That's nice. All I got. That's all I vape on all day, every day. I set her up and she's good to go. Until it, it breaks. <laughs> I'm good. That's all you need. This way I get the fancy mods. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Literally, I'm basic. I, uh... I am. Uh, I actually just pulled this out. I should have should have cleaned it, but I got hey. my side, purge side piece. Yeah, uh, with dude. Some 20 S's in it with a goon uh, one five with some high ohms. Uh, and I'm vaping on this. I can't tell you. It's a, it's a beta test yeah, from secret. a buddy. So it's a little top secret action. Very secret. I like uh, it. This thing is always ripping. This, uh, this is a my go to series, Mac. Oh, just yeah. Just angry. Just angry. Angry, angry it's in your and face. I got the same as last time. I got actually, I got two two more setups, so we'll do it. I got my stab wood dose Equis with the reload one five, some four cores inside. Um, vaping on speak easy because it's always on one of my setups. It's a root beer float from Prohibition, it's absolute bomb. Um, and then last but not least, I got my billet. Um, I'm vaping on the one of my MTL aliens which actually i vape direct lung on here um and i'm vaping the sugar cookie inside at six milligram nice man who's next uh whoever you want to pass it off to man i'm gonna go to you all right we'll switch things up for once i normally go last but i'll go second this time uh today i've got uh shed time as always you know rocking shed time with the dang on top got a chop top from dhd and uh what do i got inside of here oh yeah shout outs to one of our amazing sponsors you know wearing the hat rescued got some ben in there some guava lemonade just loving this stuff especially in the ding solid combo solid combo of course got the black stainless keen with the reload or not the reload the rebel on top i changed it out put a nub adapter with a chop top on top of there got a purple heart chop top as a matter of fact and inside of that, another shout out to one of our amazing sponsors, the Fountain Blast Off, one of my all time favorites. You guys already know it's like a Baja Blast Mountain Dew, but they say it's a tropical fruit slushy, but it's just awesome. You guys know I've killed like probably 20, 60 more bottles of that, and it's still one of my all time favorites. And uh, my last setup, I've got the L Thunder 2700, which is super flushed out because of the light, but I got uh, an RDA for vaping on top of that. By uh, Mr. Coil Turd. Of course, got a chop top. That's that blizzard tip from DHD. And some Boule Bolu. That hashtag banana land. Banana sponge cake. And that, oh, you know what else I got in here? I got some four core Holland coils in this bad boy. And it's just uh, it's just chucking. And it's just flavor for days. It's, it's just all around good. Uh, I literally have not stopped vaping on this setup since I put it together like last week. It's just been amazing. Loving it. Anyways, that's it for me. I'm going to pass it off to uh, Dan. Damn it. That's all right. I'm like, I saw you I looking like, don't pick me. Don't I know. Me, like, damn me. it. I'm making a face and he's going to catch me. Yep. I saw it. Um, I have my Unicorn MDX 3N1 with that RDA for vaping with a the same chop top you got james it's kind of hard to see here but the purple heart and then i have boule bolu banana land for days 
I have my Dreamer with the Ohaha with another chop top. Um, and that I have Ben. Me and James are just, we like the same Dude, things. Are, okay, now if you're vaping on Blast Off too, bro, I, like. I'm not. Okay. I'm not. My third one, I have my Stratum Zero with the Gear RTA. You, and that you know what it's funny you just brought that up and it just reminded me i gotta say it before i forget but me and swaggins literally were vaping almost the exact same setups like on, on friday friday it's like yeah. all the liquids were the same but like a couple setups are a little different but anyways yes and then in that i have my favorite prohibition juice which is syntax because this stuff is amazing <clears throat> uncle chris's peanut butter custard comes close but syntax is still my number one uh peanut butter custard out there my favorite. It is. My favorite. It's so good. I, I just learned yeah, about it from NVE when we were there, and Amish got me hooked on it. That's and pretty good. Shout too. out to Amish. Yeah, shout outs to Amish for getting me hooked on this stuff because this and this is this is an old bottle. This is like old labels. Yeah. So flavorful. That's what I got. Jester Clown, what do you got for us? Hello. Uh, let's see, Billet Box. In that, I got uh, some Belez, because seriously, loving that shit from Rescued. Yeah, dude. And then uh, Gen 2, the Blotto. And in that, I got the, the Ben from Rescued. Yes. So dude, just just all, all the Rescued, bro. Just all uh, Almost, almost. And then I got the uh, un Undead, but the Citadel. And in that, I got Tropica from 12 Monkeys. So, yeah. Poon sauce. I just seen this too. Uh, thanks, Clam, for pointing it out in our chat. But Anthony Ramella said, "What RDA would Joe Dirt use?" The dang, the dang, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I love it. I love it. Anyways, go ahead, Corey. Okay, I got a few things. I got Captain with a fake fatality twenty five. Inside of there, I got some Drip Witch, the pecan ice cream sandwich. And then got my Black Copper Dreamer with the Rebirth Dual RDA. Inside of there, I got some Raspberry Jam Monster. And then finally, I got my, my Victor Gonzalez SX350J Single 18650 Stab Wood Box with uh, Flav 24 Evo on top. And inside of there, I got some shout out to our amazing sponsors, but some blast off by the fountain yeah, and good, good stuff i got one more yeah i got black <laughs> copper keen with the blotto and inside of there i got where is it some uh red dream from hometown hero and uh that's it for me well since that that rounds up the buffets Corey, you know what time yeah. that is right you know what time oh, it is. Time is it? You guys know what time it is out there in chat? I know what time it is, but do you oh. guys know what time it is? It's time for what's in the news, Poon Sauce. Okay, so this is going to be a little different than my usual news segment because this is something that I guess will mean a lot to everybody since we know New York and Massachusetts have been heavily affected with legislation. And, of course, it being around the holiday season with Thanksgiving that just happened and now we have Christmas or any other kind of holiday you celebrate in that time. There's a little fundraiser that I want to <laughs> a little bit. It's called the Grinch Relief Fund. It's going on right now. It's a kind of a, a little organization for giving back or helping the families that were affected by the the bans that happened in Massachusetts and New York. So, Olivia, I know I sent you the link to it. So, there you go. I think she posted already. Might have already. Yep. She did. Yep. So. If you have any amount, of, I think if you go to the Facebook page, it gives you the option to go to the page to where you can don either donate or even if you can donate, possibly buying a gift card and sending it or maybe any toys you have left over that from your kids that you could package up. So these this organization could get these to the families that are going to be affected by this ban and possibly not be able to have a Christmas like any of us in this Zoom room right now would be able to have. So this is something that's really, really important right now, especially... Of course, because it's the holiday season and no family should have to go without a Christmas or not have any. A kid should not have to go through not have any presents under the tree. It's just because legislators can't get the thumbs out of their ass. Absolutely. And 
And uh, one thing I want to say to you guys is make sure you share that link around too, if you guys can. You know, like maybe in your like local like vape groups that you guys are part of. Of course, if you have to, make sure you guys ask permission. We're not asking you guys to break any rules or anything in your guys' groups. But this is something we want to get out there. And get as much participation as we can from people. Like we said, you guys, if you don't have much, that's fine. You know, we're not asking you know to put yourself out. But if you have a few extra dollars to spare. By all means, we, they would really appreciate any donations. And like Corey said, if you can't, you know, if you are able to donate like money towards a gift card or like some toys or anything like that towards the cause, please do that, guys. You know, help out all our, our fellow vapors out there in New York and Massachusetts that, like Corey said, are directly affected by this legislation that has been gone through in both their states. You know, a lot of people are going to be affected by this, and you know, some people like unfortunately might not be able to have the christmas that they were planning on uh you know earlier on in the year because of this which is very unfortunate so if we can you know let's do our part and help them out guys show show the community what we are like you know what i mean we we come together and we make stuff happen so let's make some christmases happen for some of these families guys definitely and uh i know dan you also kind of had like a little news <clears throat> topic you wanted to kind of touch on here <clears throat> too and my damn thunder over here I know, man. Stealing your thunder. Uh, so this popped up today. Uh, vaping detector installed in bathrooms at high school in mid-Michigan. Midland, Michigan. A high school in mid-Michigan is aiming to prevent students from vaping in school bathrooms with a device that detects the activity like a smoke detector. At the beginning of the school year, Midland, Michigan uh, installed the halo inside its bathrooms. The device can detect a vapor, loud noise, THC, and gunpowder, according to school officials. Um, so far, the school has paid about $1,000 for the devices and installation through an endowment fund. In the next few weeks, all Midland Public Schools secondary buildings bathrooms will have a halo shared set. I just wanted to get some guys, everyone's thoughts on what they think of this new vaping detecting smoke detector that they're selling to schools. Thoughts? Comments? Well, me personally, I'm a bit, I'm a bit skeptical on the whole detector thing. You know, I'm not saying that it's necessarily a bad thing that they're doing this. You know what I mean? I don't think oh. it's hurting anything. You know what I mean? If it's like, like we talked a little bit before the show about this, Dan, uh, if it's something that could help, you know, help them kind of combat the whole teen vaping thing and, you know, kind of make them more aware and, you know, maybe be able to catch some of these teens in the act and, you know, punish them as need be, you know, to hopefully deter them from continuing to do this, then I'd be for it. But then at the same time, I'm kind of skeptical on a vape detector um, like, I don't know about you guys, but, uh, I think most of these teens are on like the pod, you know, mouth to lung type of stealth vape setups and they're pretty savvy, I think. And I don't, I think as soon as they see something like this happening or notice that this is going on, they're probably going to, you know, just do it elsewhere or do like most of us do and, you know, blow into their jacket or something. So I'm not sure how effective they're going to be, but Hey, if they want to put the money into it and try it out, I don't see. All right, what's your guys' hurt. thoughts about it detecting gunpowder in schools? Because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there's a lot of school yeah. shootings in the past couple years. A lot. So Most if these things done. can detect gunpowder and get a, <clears throat> I don't know if it's linked to the police stations and they have some more of a response. Yeah, to get there and help with that. Yeah, according to maybe uh, they're selling it with the vaping, but it does like the gunpowder stuff better. Well, according to what I was reading in the article and also the information attached, I was I actually went to the Halo site and read more up on the actual device itself to kind of familiar familiarize myself with it. And apparently, there's also um, noise obstructions or noise abnormal detection or something like that so it's supposed like, to notice like any loud noises or anything happening so i'm guessing that's supposed to help with like gun gunshots or gunfire and also uh rescued in chat is uh, said it could also help with bowling so i think that can kind of go towards that so if there's a loud scuffle happening inside of the bathroom or and it's abnormal 
of nature for that, then that's going to detect it. And apparently what happens is, is the detector would go off and it literally sends an email to either the, uh, I guess it's the assistant principal at, in this case, at this school, sends him an email letting it know that the alarm has been set off. And so they're able to check it. So I, I definitely can see it being, you know, beneficial if it does work. You know, if it does what they uh, they claim it to, how accurate is? Yeah, that's right. that's my that's my whole thing is how accurate is it, and is it actually able to do everything that they're saying it can do? Yeah, like that's I just... want one of my own so I can put it through its paces and yeah. see <clears throat> if it works. If I can disguise the vapor around it and whatnot just by holding it in longer, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I, well, I mean, James, I don't you... find it because it's not. <clears throat> It's not like intruding on any privacy or anything. Right. It's so, not cameras or anything well, yeah. in a bathroom. And it clearly yeah. states even the audio like recording thing that it does have doesn't record any audio. It just records any abnormalities within like the area. So like it's not like literally recording word for <laughs> it's recording frequencies. If that's that makes good. sense. I mean, that's kind of good. I've been to some bathrooms and I could probably set it off just doing oh, normal dude. things. <laughs> um <laughs> Especially after this Thanksgiving, you know, I mean, I, I could probably set a Halo uh, thing off. Just saying. Uh, right there, Anthony Ramello says it. Poop uh, jokes, guys. It's poop to, jokes. Shout right. out to Anthony Ramello, one of our amazing sponsors. You know, the CBD dispensary, a.k.a. purecbd1.com. He says at least it's a step towards enforcement rather than banning. And I agree. Yep. I agree. That I think that's what we need to continue to do is try to make more steps towards enforcement. And this kind of brings me back to a conversation I was actually having with uh, my my brother's best friend, who's pr practically my brother. I grew up with him. They came over, you know, this past week, you know, Thanksgiving and all that good stuff. And we actually had a conversation about vaping because he's a vapor as well, but he's not he's not the hobbyist side of, of vaping as we are he's more of like i go to the shop i get my coil i get my liquid and you know i use it and he stays to, off cigarettes. i just use it that's... to stay off cigarettes that's what he uses it for so i actually sat down and me and him had a pretty like in-depth conversation about everything that's kind of going on and stuff like that and uh even him himself he's like he's like i don't all these things that they're doing going with these bands and all this stuff he's like all it's going to do is ultimately create a bigger black market when what they should be focusing on is just enforcing the laws that they already have because if they do that that could ultimately you know possibly get rid of the issue that's going on right now if they just were to enforce the laws that they have and now <clears throat> they're going to try to start enforcing these bands and stuff like that and some of these states they're not going to have the manpower to enforce these like they're not going to have the manpower to go to each and every individual shop and make sure they're selling, you know, liquid without flavoring it's an in expense it. To them. it they, there's it's not pos it's just, it's not possible for them. They don't have the manpower to do it. Yeah. So pretty much what like from what he's saying is like it just looks like they're doing this, you know, doing these bans and everything like that to make it look like they're addressing an issue whether they're actually fixing it or not is up in the they're air not. but at least to the general public it looks like they're doing something they're trying to fix a problem with the least amount of effort yeah right. pretty much what it is wrong it's... Problem. <clears throat> exactly yeah. the wrong problem isn't it yeah. crazy in some states you could go to a dispensary and buy legal weed but then you have to go around the corner to jimmy's house to buy e-liquid so that you stay off cigarettes that's pretty did anyone ever right? think we'd live in a world no. where that would be a thing no <laughs> that's no. insane 2019 has been a year <laughs> You bring up it's almost bring over, up cigarettes and they're like, Oh, well, we're not going to touch them. And it's like, Oh, yeah, really? Just come on. And it's it, right there. And it's crazy, man. Because, like, even like, like I was saying, my uh, my my practically my brother, uh, shout outs to Derek. Um, even he was saying, even him not being on the hobbyist side of it and knowing as much as we do about everything that's going on, because we literally hear about it as it's happening, because we're so ingrained in it and we've got our, you know, our ear to the pulse, you know, trying to see what's going on because, you know, we're so enveloped into it. With him as someone kind of being like an outlying, you know, vapor that's not necessarily getting all the info, even he's starting to see some of these things without even necessarily being as informed so it it 
we that just shows that we can start to kind of get more of these people that aren't necessarily the hobbyist and more of the casual vapor or the vapors that are just you know using it to stay off it shows that we can get them more involved yeah. because they're gonna I'm, be able to see what's going on you know they're, i'm pretty sure i said that like with all this shit that's been going on it sucks but a lot of vapors woke up mm -hmm. because they realized wait what i can't go I can't stay off cigarettes. You want to take this away? Why? Because I like flavors? Like, what the... And then they st start to pay attention a little bit more. When they walk up to their local vape shop and it's closed. Right. It's like, whoa. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> what do you mean the doors are closed? This Exactly. This... What do you mean? I was just here two weeks ago picking up my liquid. Yeah. yeah. I was here a month ago. What do you mean you only do core. CBD now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. So that's a big so, change you're going to start seeing a, a lot too and a lot of these that's been happening a lot here it's happening everywhere everybody's making that turn just as like a safety net you know to where if it ever does happen they've got you know a, a backup, backup plan plans. Yeah. and it's unfortunate that you know not, not saying that it's a it's a bad idea like i'm all for it but like it's just unfortunate that everybody has to you know kind of scramble to figure out what they're going to do if something were to happen in their state when, or their when county. the initial thing they were doing was getting people off cigarettes. exactly and that's ultimately what they wanted to do it for now they're like they're not even going to be able to do that no. you know what i mean they might it's be bad. able to help like one or two people that want to vape tobacco flavors but i don't know about you guys but ever since Ugh. i quit smoking i haven't vaped a tobacco flavor Neither. glass butterscotch reserve but, it's but at the same, th it, like it's it doesn't taste like tobacco. tobacco. You know what I mean? And like the so same thing with the only keep, tobacco flavor I use. They keep saying flavors, flavors, flavors. Tobacco is a flavor. It is 100 percent flavor. It's not tobacco. And when we said that in Germany, <clears throat> they were like, "What?" And you're like, "It's the same flavoring I make all of this with." And yeah. they just had no clue and no, no idea. Ideas. The thing is, people like. It's like how you look at people who manufacture liquid. They use different flavors to enhance the main flavor that they go into it. Like yeah. you could be using a tobacco flavor to get a more robust note out of maybe like a bourbon custard or something. You wanted to get that oakiness. You wanted to get that. And people don't understand that. Wait, you're using a tobacco flavor in a non-tobacco liquid? What the hell is this? It's just people don't understand like just the common sense of just everything, how you've the legislation oh, you're creating is, is so just backwards. They're they're listen, after after all this happened, I became really like, whoa, this is big stuff going on in the government. And you start just digging a little bit more and you see, and then when you watch it live and like when you keep yourself informed, they have an agenda. There is something that's unspoken of that they are so hard after this. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you, yeah. have the, you mm -hmm. have the the heroin epidemic. You have people shooting each other in the streets and cities, and they're going so hard after us. Hard enough that after that meeting with Trump, the FDA went into the to the Vegas Expo and started shutting people down. Now they've been going the shows, but they went extra, particularly by the book. And you guys are doing this and not yeah, supposed like to that. be doing it. And that was days right after that meeting. Like, it's just real, like, coincidence is a, is usually not just a, oh, that happened. It's, it's, right. it's meant yeah. to happen. The one thing about the Vegas Expo that the FDA going in there, they, it, I'm going to go look at this from the FDA point of view of this. A lot of those companies that went into that expo were not American companies because it's not an American show. It's a rich, it's a European show that comes to Vegas. Okay. So you think about it, they have their big group of vendors that go to each show. And a lot of them aren't U S manufactured liquids to where they might not have the warnings like this. Mm -hmm. They sure. might just have a bottle of liquid that looks like this to where it's mostly like picture one? and a little bit of nicotine yeah. warning. They, they were heckling, uh, they were heckling people that were here. You know what I mean? Like they, you weren't supposed to sample. Now it was went first. You can't sample, then you can't sell. And people were like, what do you mean? I can't sell or sample? how am I supposed to sell my product? And like, just <laughs> crumbs, 
uh shane was there like filming it live and stuff and they were just bothering people like you could tell they just wanted to bother people right and we're gonna fine you if you do this or we're gonna kick you out if you do this and it's like okay i I guess i'll just sit here with my booth yeah that you spent all that money to get that booth in that place that's insane yeah it's, it's just very aggressive. There's a lot of money at stake, I believe. There's a oh, absolutely, money. and I oh, think yeah. we all know it, and they all know it, and that's why we're all fighting at it so hard is because we know that they're after it for the money. You know what I mean? This oh, has oh, nothing oh. to do with public health whatsoever. It has nothing to do with the children. It has it has nothing to do with that. At the end of the day, it's their pocketbooks that they're worried about, and that's just the the shitty part about it. But at the same time, that just means that we all just need to let that anger inspire us to get up and start acting on it and start doing what we've been doing guys being active on twitter being active on the phone picking up the phone calling the white house calling your local representatives sending those emails this is something that we need to continue to do guys and like i've said before there are times that we do need to take a step back and take some personal time so we don't get overwhelmed with all of this because this is going to be a long fight, guys. This is not going to be over in the next you know, few months or you know, the next year. This is going to be something that's going to continue to go on for a long time. And if we want this to ultimately end in our favor, then we have to stand up and fight for what we want and what we stand for and what we believe in. So uh, let just let that just kind of be some words of inspiration to you guys. You know, if you guys want to look more into like that Halo device that we were talking about earlier, or definitely check out the Grinch uh, fund. You know, if you guys can donate, definitely do that as well. And uh, other than that, let's kind of switch gears here and talk to our guests for a little bit, because I know uh, this weekend was a bunch of sales going on. You know, we had like Black Friday. You know, Cyber Monday was today. All that good stuff. So. I'm curious to hear how that affected cloudcouturecode.com this past weekend. We had we it had a amazing. lot of orders, so I, nice. I really want to thank if anyone in the chat right now ordered from me over the weekend. I I really really appreciate it. It's it's crazy. We had so many orders I did not expect. So it just I am your I am heart. a little. I, I don't want to say I'm a little behind. I'm gonna have these out, but. I had a lot of building to do. Let's just say that. (laughs) He came on the show and he's still working. (laughs) Yeah, I was really prepared. He was prepared. Thank you. There you go, Ashton. Thank you. We were not expecting all those orders and it was, it was really, it's really amazing. Yeah. I mean, we give you a deal. We want to help you guys out. You guys help us out. It's it. The support is crazy. We got Stan right there. He ordered. Yep. I had to go grab myself up a t-shirt, grab me some more six core aliens. Because I need a fresh set. I was like, I'm telling you, James, you need to try those high ohms. I'm telling you. I know, dude. I know. I, I have too. them in how many sets? I just haven't vaped a series vape in a while, man. So, you know what? Yeah, but you, you, do you ever vape like a like you have like a high power regulated device? Oh, dude, I've got I vape stacks. I have you stacks. Tools, but like even like you got something like a lipo. Well, dude, like a no, I, dude, I've got my fucking. I have my hexome over there that's been just chilling there for a minute go. that I haven't yeah. ran, and those would be like a pretty bang and build on there. Yes, max. Just crank it all the way yeah, up, dude, and just like let that puppy roar. Let it go. These are at least two of the setups I know that have his high ohms. Nice. Ooh, those are pretty. What's that guy right there? Not uh, your left hand. Yeah, yeah. that's gorgeous. No, oh, that one. that. Oh, I thought that was your dreamer stack. That's the hammer from Mortal. Or Armageddon Manufacturing, whatever they have to be fucking called. Well, that, dude, that's awesome, man. I'm glad to hear that, you know, the weekend went well for you guys on that side. Um, did, did you guys get uh, Did you get quite a bit of orders on those new MTL aliens, dude? Yeah, yes. I, I sold out of what I had. But they're going to come back. Don't worry. I'm, I'm going to bring them back. So if you haven't gotten them, don't sweat it. They'll be back. Nice. They're gone. Uh, we got we got over a hundred orders, and that's that's pretty crazy. Uh, For two people business, I got <laughs> like, you know what I mean, like yeah. so d- out of our house. <laughs> that's why it's not going to just take me a day to do it. But uh, dude, I I, I want to. I haven't done a final count yet, but I'm gonna say four hundred ish, five hundred ish sets somewhere in that range. There, dude, that's insane. Hell yeah, 
oh dude we had p i had there's a couple guys like 20 sets of four cores and it's like dude you're good for the next <laughs> five years yeah <laughs> for real like he, you'll there be is straight. a vape apocalypse. Hey, he might have bought him his christmas gifts for his buddies you don't know yeah, yeah, yeah no 100%. that's what i thought little stocking stuffers yeah you know what that'd dude. be a great idea for like like a vapor like stocking stuffer oh yeah a lot of wives pick up stuff for their husband yeah I mean, people do spend, when people buy coils, they do buy in bulk. (laughs) Not everybody's you, Corey. Especially when they're 50%. Well, when you get them 50%. When I saw that go up, I was like, oh, man. More coils. Well, I'm definitely going to go grab me a t-shirt. I'll grab me some coils, too. Because I I already went to, like, three other sites, like, before that. And I was like, oh, well. I can't not go buy anything over there. So I was like, oh, grab me a t-shirt because I've been wanting a shirt for a while. I just haven't picked one up. I don't know why, but now I don't have an excuse. So I grabbed <laughs> one and uh, I had to grab some of them six cores, dude, because the last last set I have, I don't even remember what at Addy they're in. I've got like 50 atomizers over here on the stand that all have coils in them. And it's like, I don't necessarily know what they are until I start vaping on them again, or unless I like literally pop the cap and really take a look at it. But dude, I've got coils from like all kinds of people over here. And it's just like, damn, I want, I want to know who made these because these <laughs> ones rip. Yep. I need to find oh, it. Dude. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. And, and just aliens in general lasting that long. Like, dude. You buy five aliens stuff. are the best. You should be good for the year. I mean, AJ, whenever I see you and Herbie at shows, I'm buying one of like at least one of each set. Yeah. Whenever yeah. I see you guys. I mean, when you when you think about it, like especially now that the prices have adjusted, if you spend, let's say, well, my my six cores are six or four cores are sixteen bucks, it's gonna last you then longer than sixteen dollars in juice. And yeah. cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. And cigarettes yeah that's how i always look at it that's a day and a half on cigarettes that's it <laughs> for real <laughs> especially so I would, uh, coils are just a, if they're built well they're just a very worthy investment, just like a mob and yeah. if you yep. take care of them they'll last you and yeah that's what you shouldn't be surprised you got so many orders you make banging ass coils see you i see, don't he does you do it. though i like get it but i don't get it <laughs> Because there's just guys that are just monster are builders too. But you're good at your that. craft, bro. Like you yeah. got like them four cores down, bro. Like locked. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, I've done enough. Anybody thinks of four core <laughs> aliens, the first name that pops in their head is AJ Holland. At least for me, I think four core aliens. I think you, bro. It's just like Thanks. or a- anything more than your normal three core. It's just like okay, AJ probably has done that. Or yeah, you AJ found can some, do that. You found something that not all the other builders were doing, and you do it well. So people will pay for the quality, the customer service, and to keep you guys around. And then when That's you're looking for some, when you're looking for some real voodoo magic fuckery, you have to buy these fucking bags. Dude, those things oh, yeah. rock, dude. <laughs> on a parallel box, insane. those things rock hard. in fucking insane. I mean, people do them on a tube, but I'm like, dude, you're just gonna, you got like an hour. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I uh, throw those on like that my hour. hammer or like, dude, I actually threw a set in those and uh, a TM24 Pro and I was rocking it on my DS and dude, that thing was ripping, dude. Yeah, you rocked that thing for a while. Dude, dude, my, my DS is one of my all time favorites, man. I'm going to, you know what? After the show, I'm busting it back out. And you know what? Yes. I'm going to put... An RDA for vaping on it. That was one we both bought. Do you have a TS? Dude, the TS is the one I haven't picked up yet. I should Ooh. I should grab one, man. Yeah, I should you, grab one. If you like that, that's... James, we need to talk after the show. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do. We'll do. But yeah, dude, I'm... Are you, are you, you guys have any, like, new ideas coming up for, like... I know you guys have some pretty big things hap- coming up, you know, in the next, like, month aka wedding but uh like what what all you guys have going on leading up to that do you guys have anything cool happening with cloud couture or you guys you know just kind of rushing together to get everything ready for that well we're probably gonna have like a like a little less before the end of the year kind of sale it's not going to be the black friday sale but we'll probably have one more sale we were talking about different shirts i gotta get some i need some shirts 
it's been a while. People have been asking me for it. So I, I'm going to do some Holland Coil Co. shirts. Or Dude. Something. I got to do something a little different. I don't just want to slap a logo on there and be like, oh, we're good. We're good. Hey, I've seen some of the stuff you've come up with, bro. So I think you could do something pretty dope. Yeah, I want to do something a little with a little twist on it, you know? Yeah, dude. Well, count me in for one of those for sure, bro. Okay. For right. sure. What size? Large. <laughs> large. Okay, one large. Check. Got it. Sick. <laughs> Sick. I'm stoked on that. Um, but yeah, dude, I'm I'm excited for you guys to, you know, finally get to the nuptials. I know it's something that uh it's been in the works for a while. I can only imagine how excited slash maybe anxious you guys are for the whole situation. Yeah, it's it's we've been together for 11 years. So engaged for five. Don't 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 beat me up for it. <laughs> it was just we had the time. We had the opportunity. We got the right price on the place she really wanted to get married at. and We wanted to get married at and. We just pulled the trigger, and now it's just, it's been go for the last uh, year, pretty much. Sometimes I don't know how we do it all. The photo booth business, with our businesses, with now the wedding. Sometimes I don't know how we do it all. We do it. Yeah. But we figure it out. We always figure it and out. It, yeah. And it's work. So it's, it, I think it's going to be fun. Uh, you know, just it's small. We're only having it's 75, really 80 people, some really good food, some good music. And then we get to hop on a plane and, go to and Jamaica. finally go on a vacation. <laughs> Hell school. yeah. Nice. nice. Hell so yeah. Jamaica awesome. too. That's dope. Yes. Literally, we hop on a plane to be in Jamaica by 1245 the next day. That is <laughs> sick. That is dope. Later, family. Peace out. No <laughs> stress. We're out. <laughs> we just out. Peace Chill out. And breathe. And Chill. be with each other and love each other. And... Well, that's awesome. I'm happy for you guys. Definitely, uh, definitely excited. You know, see all the, you know, the cool wedding photos and stuff. That I'm sure will pop up on the it's, on the internet. Yeah, it's cool to be able to share it with people and people that we don't even necessarily know or meet. You know what I mean? Like, it's cool to have our vape fam and we get to share it with everybody because yeah. they've been with us now for five years together. Dude, your guys' yeah. engagement pictures were awesome. I can only imagine exactly. what we're gonna see from the wedding. Like, it's gonna be sweet. Yeah, our photographer is really awesome. He vapes, so it's even uh, that's even cooler. We're, we're definitely getting some some vape. We should have at the engagement one, but it was like post engagement. Yeah. yeah, we got we got shops. We got shots in a vape shop though, in our local vape shop. Yeah, nice, so, nice. Those are pretty cool. Wedding one is going to be pretty sweet. Yeah, we yeah. have some of our really good like vapor buddies coming, so we should be able to get some sick shots. That'd be dope. That'd be cool. dope. Well, that's exciting, man. That's a, you want that, to see, you want to see yeah. the shoes I'm wearing, dude? Yeah, he's he's like he got so <laughs> he got excited, so excited. <laughs> so excited. No, I know how he feels. Like he got the fresh kicks, man. You got to show off the fresh You're kicks. Like, we're doing sneakers, so. Oh We're hell just, oh. yeah! Yeah, nice. dude. Dude, James is gonna steal clean. those from you, dude. <laughs> those are clean. Green Ranger, like what? <laughs> Bro, for real. The gold swoosh. That's awesome. Oh, those yeah, are dude. hashtag Green Room approved, bro. <laughs> These are the St. Paddy's Day edition dunk highs because you can't find dunks anywhere anymore unless you go on like StockX or you know. Yeah, they're crazy hard to find nowadays, and they're they're it's getting everywhere. expensive now too. Yeah, these these weren't too bad, but they're 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 not no you know twelve hundred dollar yeah yeah Hawaii edition dunks or something like that from like fifteen years ago, but. I wanted green. The green's our color, so. Yeah, green and gold are, are is our color scheme. Well, there you go, bro. You get both he's, on one, dude. He doesn't want to go put it back. He's like, I'm just going to like, I, I swear, I'm just going to hold it, you know, and just like rock it to sleep. And just, he you like puts him put on the on night stand. Like, like, it's his legs it's really just one of those shoes. things. It's like, I don't know. I was never, I can't tell you the last like real little, like even birthday party I had. The last one I could call was, I was 20, 22nd birthday. I bought all the drinks for us. Like, you know, it wasn't really like a party like that. So it's finally like a chance to like celebrate us a little bit. Yeah. It's a Hell weird yeah. thing for me, but. It's a weird thing for both of us because we, we both have been in the wedding industry for so long that yeah, you kind of like that. almost get turned off by weddings. You're like, oh, it's just another work day. <laughs> right. <laughs> Definitely. Well, we got, oh, what what's this? Rescued says, let's see Elena's shoes. 
Oh my god, you want to see my shoes? <laughs> no, you want to see your shoes? Oh my god, I'm gonna get judged. You're gonna <laughs> listen. They were very expensive, and I wasn't very happy about it. But if she's smart with them, you know, if she's smart with them, she can flip them for some good money. So. Don't. I saved my money for these. Don't go there. Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> I saved my pennies, and I we've been engaged for, and together for a very long time. And I knew I wanted a sick ass pair of sneakers for our wedding these day. These were way over the initial. Uh, maybe I'll get these. There went the Th shoe. They're buddy. in a bag. Oh. Oh snap! Fancy. Damn. What? Well, you knew she wasn't going to let AJ outdo her. I mean, yeah, come on. I, I, I got to get my bling on. <laughs> Those are insane. <laughs> Damn. Dude, Louis Vuittons. Jeez. So I'm fresh like, and so oh, clean. Oh, my God. And I was like, oh. <laughs> if you want them. Oh, it's... I paid for them. Yeah, you're right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ashton from, I don't got uh, a savings account for nothing. Ashton's like, baller. <laughs> baller. I negotiated it, though too. Brian puts worn by Irby Irby, definitely worth some bread. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Vandal. Thanks for tuning in. By the way, guys, speaking of Vandal, make sure you guys go over to Amigos and Co. after this. Go check them out. Go show them some love. <coughs> Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Go hang out with those dudes. Great show over there. You, know, you got Chris Vandal. You got Breeze Tones. You got Legion. Go check those guys out. Legion Vapes. Great, great group of dudes. You got me and Corey been over there hanging out cool show but anyways guys we got about uh 15 minutes left here in the show uh this is something we haven't done in a while uh i think we did one last week very spur of the moment like right as the show is ending because Corey's like oh wait we haven't done this yet the uh, but we haven't done one with a guest so let's do a juice of the week like what's a liquid that you've been vaping on throughout the week or just one that you think is just super super solid that you would suggest to our audience out there, to all the Omis in chat. What we got here? Do what it's... those like makeup people do. Does that help? Yeah, go to the center. Cloud chemist. Uh... Cloud chemist. Yeah, the cloud chemist. As you can see, it's empty. I do vape it. It's legit. <laughs> and I, I literally, I ordered three bottles during the sale because I was like, I just need it and I need it now. So. <laughs> Very nice. Frosty science. I don't even eat. Frosted Flakes, never have, never liked it growing up, don't like it now, but I I love this. It's amazing. Legit. The whole cereal line is pretty legit. I mean, there's nice. something I always vape on, and I'm sure you guys know by now. Here, I, I'll, do, I'll do, can I do two? Sure, <laughs> dude. Why not? So this is, we got Speakeasy Root Beer Float by Prohibition is the best root beer float. Grim just reviewed it. He love also it. agrees. I told him after he did the random syntax one, I was like, you need to try the root beer. And then he messaged me back like three days later, dude, the root beer. Mm -hmm. And he's a root beer fan too. Cause like, wasn't that one of those, like one of those OG flavor. flavors back in the day? That, that was the flavor that got him off. Nice. Here, and then yeah, I like the mimosa. Everything from Prohibition. Yeah. The black market. That's what I held up before. That's a chocolate that's their cookie new one. pudding. Ooh. Very right. good. But scary. I'll give the shout to the Blueberry Yogi. Ah, see, I've never tried any of the Yogi stuff, but I've heard some pretty good things. There's Yogi. only one that I would tell you to stay away from, and that's the peanut butter one. Yeah, I still haven't done the peanut butter. The original I like personally, but I know people that are like, eh, that's weird. But the Blueberry one is really, really good. I'm the the Blueberry check it out. one is just delicious. Very nice. So what about you, Corey? What's your juice this week? I'm going to pick uh, the Drip Witch. The pecan ice cream sandwich and the, like, the breading part of the sandwich is waffles with maple syrup on it. It's Ooh. delicious. Okay. That sounds pretty good. I need one of those. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. well steeped too. So. I, I need one of those just in real life though. I was, on, I, I was using this and it's a little light for my liking. I wish I had more maple. Got to have the maple. Gotta have the maple. What about you, Clan? What are you rocking heavy this week? Uh, uh, I don't know. Like, I think I did Valez last week, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I believe so. Yeah, I, I, I'll go with menthol just because, again, as far as menthols go, it doesn't make me cough, so that makes me happy. Yeah, and it's Ben. Yeah. 
It's been <laughs> guava lemonade. Just say just amazing. amazing. Try it. Try it. What about you, Dano? Uh, boule is always in there. I don't ever oh, have yeah, to I say do. it again. I vape boule all day, every day for the most part. Um, all of y'all, all of you, but <laughs> dude, syntax <laughs> is the shit. That's that peanut butter custard is phenomenal. If you guys have never tried, just like they said, go over to prohibition and buy up all their liquid. I like syntax. I like riding shotgun. I like mixing the two and riding and sin is what they call it. And it's very good. Like it's just premium, awesome liquid. Very nice. Also, guys, uh, by the way, don't forget Cyber Monday deals over there on rescuedeliquid.com. 20% off their e-liquid, guys. Go over there, grab some up. Not only can you get rescue, but they also carry bottled violence as well, which is a custard line. They got a caramel custard and a vanilla custard. Shout outs to Still Valley. But yeah, go check it out, guys. Go grab up some of that stuff. 20% off. Not a bad deal. But of course, you guys could always use omis for 10 percent off after the sale and of course bark 20 for 20 dollars off a 120 dollar order or more and then of course I, i'm just going to take a second here before i do my juice of the week and give a shout out to our sponsors of course big shout outs to the cbd dispensary aka purecbd1.com guys go over there use the code omis 10 gets you 10 percent off until the end of the year so take advantage of the code while it lasts you know go grab up uh, any of the the amazing cbd products that they've got going on over there guys i've tried quite a few that were, was sent over to me thanks to mr anthony ramella and dude some of the they're st- awesome some of the stuff is pretty good guys i've actually been you know enjoying these cbd gummies right here 250 milligram you know, do you try this one. tincture yet dude this the tincture is actually one? not bad either man dude so, that yeah, stuff is so good they've got all kinds of stuff guys from topicals to you know edibles to you know whatever you are in the search for so definitely go check them out and of course opmh you guys if you are interested in wholesaler distribution you can check them out opmhproject.com of course you guys already know the fountain is one of my all-time favorite lines the blast off is one of my all-time favorites but they also have cherry ice and coated and they also have the real deal custard line and watson which is an award-winning tobacco line but of course like we said earlier a lot of those are blended with something else and not just tobacco but they are pretty solid guys so go check them out over there and for me what's my juice of the week this week that's a good question that is a really really good question um well shoot this is a tough one i'm a, you know what my juice of the week is going to be bottled violence caramel custard because this is actually a pretty solid uh custard guys we're really enjoying it the caramel and it's very nice and uh yeah it vapes pretty clean too Uh, you know i've been rocking it on like the same set of wicks for you know a couple days no sign of them going out anytime soon so definitely loving that you can pick that up over there at rescuedeliquid.com other than that guys uh should we do it now or should we do it after the sign out dan what do you think let's do it now let's do it now okay guys we can't end the show without our favorite thing that we do here at the omis and it's uh, of course dan's favorite part of the show as you can see he's very very excited it's time for dan's dad joke of the week what you got to, what you got this week dan so my boss is threatening to fire the employee with the worst posture i have a hunch it might be me oh man <laughs> <laughs> That was actually oh, Dan. that came from uh, for British eyes only. Very nice, very nice. And you know what, guys? That's a good thing that you said that, Dan. Because if you guys ever want to have a dad joke read out on vaping with the homies, you can always send it over to Dan. You know, you can DM him over there on Instagram, or you can also send us an email to vaping with the homies at gmail.com. And we'll make sure to check that out. If you guys have a good one, who knows? Dan might read it live on the show, and of course, it could even be a bad one. Yeah, and I'll probably it, read it out here. Probably, because he's read he's read off some pretty bad ones before. But of course, also guys, if you guys have topic suggestions, questions, comments, anything like that, guest ideas or anything, you just send us an email, guys, or just general questions at all. We're always willing to help. You know, take advantage of the email, vapingwiththeomies at gmail.com, all that good stuff. And of course, I want to remind you guys, make sure you guys go check out 
cloudcoturco.com. You know, go take advantage of, you know, whatever sales that pop up. You know, grab some of them Holland coils because they are bangers. Go grab up some uh that Cloud Couture clothing, that clean, classy, cloudy t-shirt. It's one of my all-time favorites. You can grab yourself up a hoodie. They got tank tops. They got all kinds of great stuff. You know, of course, follow them on all their various social media accounts. You know, you can follow AJ or on his. You go follow Irby Irby. You go follow Holland Coils. Go follow Cloud Couture Co- Just follow everybody, guys. Just, just love. Just all the love to everybody thank you guys so much for hanging out with us it's always a pleasure getting to chat with you guys and you know you guys are always more than welcome to come hang out with us anytime anytime for shizzle thanks for having us absolutely well with all that uh cory you got anything coming up on your channel you want to talk about real quick while we got a few minutes here Usual schedule, got Wednesday show with me me and Mr. Sean Typhron, the Angry Hippie, um, another episode of What's in the News. And then Saturday, working out a possible guest for another What's Your Story. And then stay tuned for the beginning of the year to happen because I have a very special guest plan. We, we have a very special guest plan to join us eventually in What's in the News. So get ready for that. Ooh. Working out schedules right now. but Exciting, really- exciting very interesting on in that and yeah that's pretty much all i got right now all right Same what about what about you clown uh there will be a wolf bite on wednesday so i'm excited about that wednesday 3 p.m on my channel and uh, uh there will be a video tomorrow you get to if you watch it you get to see me talk about halloween because that's how long ago i recorded it so yeah <laughs> nice dude nice a flashback um, i know right Of course, updates from me, guys. Unfortunately, there aren't going to be any videos on my channel this week. I took a break this past weekend to spend time with my family. You know, I had, you know, my brother and sister-in-law fly down or drive down actually from Oregon with their two kids. And then my grandparents uh, flew in from Indiana, which are still here at the moment. So I'm trying to, you know, spend some time with them. So it took a little bit of a break from recording and stuff like that. But don't worry, guys. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be back next week hitting you guys strong on Monday. But of course, we'll still be back. Oh, excuse me. We'll still be back Friday for another episode of The Green Room. So definitely tune in for that. Come hang out with Sean Type and Overdrip and myself and then of course stay tuned for next monday's episode right here same time same place same omies and uh yeah i think that's it i don't i don't think i got anything else i don't think- have anything either anybody? i didn't get asked or anything but uh i'm over on instagram i'm over on twitter get on twitter come hang out with me we have fun i i put up polls every now and then and get in arguments with people because that's what i do you know what um, dan i didn't ask twitter. you because you had the dad joke, get on twitter. <laughs> yeah just just come on over to twitter hang out you know you know what Sh- definitely share information definitely go over there and follow dan on twitter because he's 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 on it and he's active for sure and uh, yeah, go follow right. everybody who's got Twitter. And if you guys haven't on got Twitter, one yet, you start it sassy. Out. You can be sassy. Yeah. On you can Twitter. be. Yeah. Sa- you can I'm have all the troll. sass. Oh, great, I'm a real troll. Let the inner <laughs> sass just, let it out. Just let it out. Just do it. I, pu- I put a do poll up uh, a couple of days ago. Just like, what do you prefer, like pod vaping or yes. open style vaping? And that created a discussion between people, and I got to hear their different things, and I got. I, I didn't get into it, but I had a good discussion with someone. Come to realize it's Matthew Elliott, which I didn't know it was him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, who is this guy kind of coming at me in a little way? And I go look at it. I was like, fuck, I know this guy. I know exactly. And I, it, not, it wasn't like out of hand or anything, but it was just a good discussion. Like, you know, he's fighting for all vapes and I am too. That's exactly what I'm doing. But if it comes down to brass tacks and they had to get rid of something, would you be okay? with having the other thing. We have all this knowledge. We Nick Salt did something good. It got people off cigarettes, but can we transition them off of that and show them that there's other options if they wanted to take Nick Salt stuff away? That's all I was trying to get my point out there. And you know what I mean? We went back and forth for a little bit, but it ended up being a good discussion. I got to hear other people's thoughts on stuff where they just can't use that kind of vape and they have to have that and i like to see where their head's at in it too so it's fun it's you know it creates discussion between people and again irby and aj share something i get on there and i you know retweet it you can share links it's just where everyone needs to be and we need to keep that information flowing absolutely yeah, i find sorry, <clears throat> no, i find fine. that a lot of things are put on twitter before they're put anywhere else 
from people like Greg Connolly, VTA, yep. stuff. like yep. they're put, it's, it's put on Twitter. And I never knew that because I was never on Twitter ever. Right. So I was missing out even before all this bullshit happened on really good information because I never was on Twitter. And it seems like that's where it always yeah. goes first. And then it, it slowly trickles over to Instagram and Facebook. So Twitter is where you need to be, even if you're just there tweeting and retweeting just your thoughts, sure. like what you are really good. Just share. Right. Yeah. And when you find articles and look at the articles and know this is good information that needs to be sure. out there for people, you put it on Twitter because people can click on it do their research and retweet it to the people that are following them. That's read. the whole goal here. Please yeah, read, read the before, article. Read yes, please read, read the yes. article. Yes. But it's a lot easier to be able to share, retweet, and get information out there to a big None of this. The Go to the link in my bio on Instagram oh, where it's only that, one dude. link. You can't yeah. do anything. Twitter in is truth. where it's at and where we need to be. Let our voices be heard over there. It doesn't Absolutely. Have to take like you take like a screenshot of the Twitter your feed, put it in your Instagram story, and tell people to go over to Twitter. Like and motivate them to be like, well, if I can do it, you can do it too. Like just hound it in people's faces because that's where we need to be, and that's where we need to make the most yep. noise. Because as crazy as it sounds, that's it's where the president has a lot of his. <laughs> yeah. That's where how this happened. That's so, where all yeah, these very, officials are, guys. Very, is they're yeah. over there on Twitter. You know, they that's that's where that's what time we're in now, you're, guys. The your reps technology. are over there on Twitter. You know what I mean? Everybody like you is. said, the president. My mom's on the, Twitter for goddamn it. Mama Janklin tearing it up. She does, dude. She she drives herself we, insane. We babe, we vote. One hundred percent. Well, guys, it's that time. Of course, I want to thank every single one of you for tuning in and hanging out with us. Of course, a huge, huge thank you goes out to AJ and Irby for blessing us with their presence this uh, evening. And of course, you know, hopefully again in the future. With all that being said, guys, we're going to end it as we always do. Send out all those positive vibes. Chris by fives. Let's <laughs> just vape on, homies.